Keep away from me. What's the matter, Meek? Can't take a joke no more, no? What's wrong with you? What are you off your nut? You needed help. I tried to help you. Turns out I can't. Oh, Mick, you're breaking me up, mate. Do you want to kiss and make up, do you? Do yourself a favour and get away from me now. Look at the state of it. I'm ashamed of you. Did you say it, mate? You heard. Moping around on a bench like a mug. I mean, what are you going to do? Cry? No, don't you get up. Not unless you're going to do something. Don't waste my time. I needed to see if you could handle it before I put you in front of someone real. And in front of all those people, what did you do? Hey, you ran away like a mug. I mean, your wife's got more fun than you, Mick. You're a disgrace. I can see what you're trying to do. You ain't going to get it, though, so... <laughs> no, imagine. Know. Imagine if I went the other way when we were kids. Imagine it if I didn't step in. <laughs> you would have topped yourself after a week inside. I saved your life. And how have you spent it? Running away like a mug. Like a coward mug, Mick. Huh? <laughs> Yes, Mick! Yes! That's my boy! There's that darkness, mate! That's what I'm after! <laughs> Oi, don't you dare! You turn around! You ain't running away this time. You stay here and you prove to me it was worth it. Taking the fall for you. You finished the fight, son. Come on. Right, what about these? You remember these? Yeah, that row with them South London boys outside your call. Freddie, he, he made that Millwall brick up in the toilet from them flyers. You remember, didn't you? Yeah, of course you do. You don't need a good hiding. You need a straight jacket. No, 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 Nick, no. Think about it, mate. This is your chance. Right, what well, copper's going to come in here and, and see this little setup and, and think it's anything else other than self-defence? You know, ex-con, violent, violent past. You know, broke into your, your house and he, and he filmed your wife. You know, invited you round here with all these goodies lined up on the table. You're Tina, you're Tina, with, with a case open against me. Open and shut case this, Mick. Mick, this is an open and shut case, Mick. This is an open, open and shut case. <laughs> you can get away with murder. I ain't got a backstory, mate, just a hammer, but you know what? One hit right now. Do the trick. Come on, Mick, do me a favour. Do me a favour. I'm going home. I touched her, Mick! I touched her. You saw it. I could have lifted that top up. I could have touched a lot. But you've let blokes get away with a lot more than that, haven't you? you your own brother, wouldn't it? And what did you do? You let him cut hair over the road. Your old lady having to walk past his shop every day. I mean, what sort of man lets that happen? Hey, look at you. I bet you won't even show her that video. I bet you was awake when I was filming, pretending to be asleep, hiding under the covers. You think I won't do it? I love you, Mick. Uh, I've done her a favour. First time a real man's touched her in years. <laughs> I don't think you turn up. Sit down. Sure, this is safe. I mean, technically, we're perverting the course of justice. Shut up. We are this close to having him put away, and you want to pull out now? After everything he's done to us. How could you? Of course, if I don't, he'll kill me. Took a state of that. I'm not getting my deposit back now, am I? I could have let Dean die. I could have put that hammer right through your head. But I didn't. Because I'm better than that. And now I'm gonna go home to people who love me. And you're just gonna sit here. 
You'd love to be me, wouldn't you? <laughs> you might as well be dead. Do you remember that Irish bloke who used to drink down the pig? He used to sing all them rebel songs, but he was so tasty, no one said a word. Last drink of the night, what did he always used to say? May you have half hour in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> he caught you with that right a few times, didn't he, eh? You'd love to be me. <laughs> you might as well be dead. <laughs> Do you hear that? Fancy saying that to your best mate. Fancy saying that to anyone after everything I've done for him. He goes and says a thing like that. <laughs> That's a liberty. That's cheeky, that is. You want to be him? What, you? A mug like him? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you can't have that. You won't have that, will ya? See, it didn't have to be like this, did it? All this. It's not my fault. This is just how it's got to be, mate. Half hour in heaven. <sighs> You'll manage that, son. For him, them lot. <laughs> we'll see then, shall we? Must be my lucky day. in there. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Stuart. What's happened? He's been shot. What? Is he dead? Halfway, is he dead? <laughs> We should call an ambulance. Should. Someone make the call. What is it? Elle, come here.
Try and get some bar towels. We need to put pressure on the wound. Do it. Right, listen. Listen. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Right, me and him, we go way back. The poor geezer, you know. It, he's always been, uh, I don't know, jealous. He needs help. Right. Not, God forbid, locking up. You saw Mick Carter shoot you. <laughs> Are you prepared to sign a statement to that effect? I just want him safe, Inspector, you know? Yeah, pass us a pen. Nick Carter. I don't believe it. No. He said something else. Stuart, he said something else. I, uh, I asked him who shot you, and he said, he said me. He said me, and then he, and then he smiled. He, and then he said, my best mate, Nick Carr. Oh, Stuart did it. Quite a family affair. Mick Carter, I'm arresting you for the attempted murder of Stuart Highway. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you fail to mention one question, something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be used as evidence. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Prove it. Never thought about it. Oh, come on. Honest. I've thought about it. I've thought about it a lot. Who can blame you? I've thought about it for 20 years. I, not every day, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's been there. Really? What? You never liked me. I acted as if I never liked. <laughs> well, it wasn't all an action, I suppose. There were times when I could have absolutely cracked your head open with a bottle. You can make yourself hard to like sometimes. Part of my charm. always something that you've honestly never thought about it. No. Mm. <laughs> no, my love, you can think all you like. What about the anchor? There was a match on, wasn't there? The cup final. That's right. Chelsea beat Middlesbrough 2-0. You do remember. Of course I remember, Linda. <laughs> And that's the first time I questioned it. Questioned what? If I'd made the wrong decision. Wait, 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 wait. What? Uh, I thought I might change. Into what? Well, into something a bit more fun. <laughs> hey, wait. Have you been planning this? Shut up. 
I just want it to be special. Well, it is special. Stop it. In uh, a minute. Give us a look. No. Go on. <laughs> you can just wait. I promise it'll be worth it. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> You might swagger about, lock people in the boot of your car to feel tough. But when it comes down to it, you ain't got what it takes to pull the trigger. But Mick does. If he has to, he'll pull that trigger and do what has to be done. And you won't. Trigger. <laughs> he, he never shot me. <laughs> Mick never shot me. Merry Christmas, Linda. He wanted to frame Mick. And he shot you? To hurt me. He wanted to hurt the both of us. Why would Mr Box want to... When we was kids, me and Mick, when we was kids, we done some stuff, some bad stuff. It, it's in your notes. It's Tina Carter. It wasn't what either of them said, but... I wasn't a very nice person. 
I guess, down the years. You do know we've already interviewed Mr Box, don't you? Yeah, and he seems nice, doesn't he? He seems credible. But he ain't. He made them accusations against me, didn't he? And then he dropped them. He plays with your head. And I think it's maybe us what done it to him. Do you think you can do that? Turn someone bad? I really thought that night everything was OK when he invited us to the Vic. A few jars buried there. He said he was hungry. And I followed him into the kitchen. And then he pulled the gun and he shot me. And then several weeks later, an anonymous stranger happened to find said gun again and... No, I was laying on the floor, bleeding. I'm sorry, I didn't see what he did with it. And you remember this all today? Morning after your confession? He said he killed my daughter. I was laying on the ground and he was standing over me, pointing the gun at me, and he said, I had to say it was Mick. And that was his way to punish the both of us. I said he was crazy, I love Mick. He knew I loved Mick. Everyone knew I loved Mick ever since we was little. And he said if I didn't say it was Mick, then he was going to find my daughter Zara and he was going to shoot her too. <laughs> he had this video on his phone of Linda sleeping. He made me say I took it. And I knew that if he could get in our house, he could get in my Zara's. And yet you were quite happy to let Mick, Mick, who you'd love since you were little, to go to jail for this. <laughs> Have you got kids? Girls? Until you suddenly realise that you yourself face time inside. My client. Because if I'm banged up, who's going to look after my Zara? Who's going to protect her? You'll get in her house, you'll get in anywhere. Why did you tell Mrs Carter? Because it was ripping her apart. I didn't know she was going to record it and bring it to you as evidence. I mean, you still haven't even said how she's done that. Dylan Box has an alibi for the night of the shooting. He must have planned it all. Given someone his credit card, told him to use it. And there were witnesses too. Get them back in. Ask them. But people will say anything he tells them. You don't know what he's like. My client has given you a full and frank account of the incidents in the early hours of September the 4th. And at considerable risk to himself and his family, has given you the name of the perpetrator. Now, in the clear absence of any other evidence against him, I suggest we move on to discussing bail. Turn it off! Thank God. What, you want them to trace it? Five minutes. Nah, 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 nah. You're gonna film a confession. I am one of your monsters. Ah, you shot me. Ah, ah, you made me frame Mick. Ah, you fooled it all up in your clever little head. You really are insane. And you're gonna take this money and you're gonna run. And you're gonna keep on running. You've got my passport. Yeah. And when you finish being a movie star, you can have it back. What if I don't? Don't take the money. Don't take the passport. Don't film your little... Then you get to say hello to them fish down there. Don't... test... me. What have you got against me? What have I ever done? No, well, that's what I think every time I see you. What in your pathetic little life have you ever done? You're 40 years old, still living with your mum. Always controlling me. We're in the classroom. Trousers, that smell of weed. Picking on me. You're sitting in the bottom of that locker, do you remember? All the boys kicking on the door. Bullying me. Poor little Dylan. Is that nasty man bullying you? What have I ever done? What have I ever done? So what's it going to be? I was just going to try and give him a call again. Won't do it. This is over.
Over, is it? Is it? Go, please! Go, please! I say when it's over, do you want me to repeat the question? I can't run! Wrong answer! Uh, Mama! Oh, no, you poor sick mummy! She can't manage her life! So when you've had your little flying lesson, I'm gonna go and put her out of her misery. Share the love, Dylan. It's Christmas. <laughs> Any last requests? Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Please! No one's gonna come. Just uh, take a few breaths. That's, that's what I'll do. Just. Me. Shh. I don't want to hear your voice anymore. No more bunny. Oh, go. I'll disappear. But then you still be breathing, and I can't have that. <laughs> and your heart will still be pumping, and I can't have that. You know, I, I just, I just can't have that. Six months ago, I would have shook your hand. I would have drawn a line under it. You couldn't have walked away. You shouldn't have walked away. And now you can't. You know, handshake Mickey's. He's gone. He's not here. Handshake Mickey's. You know, he's. It's funny they call it prison, but the truth is it sets you free. Because once you come out, you just don't care. What you... <clears throat> What are you going to do? I'm going to kill you. Stop calling him. I knew he weren't being straight with me. He wouldn't do anything stupid, would he? Well, he's just come out of prison. He's got half a brain. If he lays one finger on Stuart, he'd be straight back inside again. Yeah, for good this time. So this is it. This is for everything you've done to my family. Let's make it a fair fight. Prison rules. You know, it's a beautiful thing, prison. You get a lot of time to think. I've had a lot of time to plan, but I'm going to put that filthy carcass of yours. This is you. This is you making me do this. This ain't me being evil. This is pure Mick Carter. That kid I covered for. That I went to Boston for. He's still there. Give it to me! Come on! <laughs> Get up! Look at the state here. Tell Zara. My Zara. Zara! Yeah, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Zara. I'll tell her I'll be a little shoulder for her to cry on. And we'll get close. We get really close. You do understand what I'm saying to you, don't you? I want you to understand. I want it to be the last fault in that sick brain of yours. Me and your daughter. And I'm gonna be all over her. There won't be a mark on her body that I won't see. 
Frick. 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 